everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Sadly Your School Live. My name is Kimberly Woods, and I am so happy to be here with you guys today. If you are joining us live or if you are catching the replay, please leave a comment and let us know. We love to connect with all of you wonderful educators, parents, and caregivers out there. So before we dive into today's topic, I want to start by saying you've only got me on today's show. We had to move some of our schedule around for this week. So Dr. B is actually going to be on the show with me tomorrow instead of today like we had originally planned. So if you come back tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 12 o'clock Pacific Time, you will be able to hang out with me and Dr. B and he will talk to us about math and enlighten us with all of his wonderful wisdom. And since we couldn't have Dr. B here with us today, I thought we may as well stick with the math theme. And last week we released a wonderful new bundled resource that I think is really, really great for at-home learning. And this is a resource I'm even using in my own home with my kids. So let me pull this up for you guys. Um, here. Uh, and I want to ask you guys, as I'm pulling this up, what types of resources have you been using at home with your kids that you have found to really help you guys with that learning connection? So at my house, what I've noticed is that a lot of the time that my kids are on devices, they just want to watch like Netflix or a movie. And when I actually ask them to get on the computer and do games on like ABC Mouse or with other resources, they're actually not that interested in it. And I don't wanna sit here and push anything on my kids that they're not going to love because I don't want this to be a bad experience for them. And I don't want this at home learning time to be a bad experience for myself either. So this type of a kit is great for my situation. And maybe you're similar to me and you're like, look, my kid doesn't want to do the online learning thing. They're in early elementary grades. Uh, and in my school district in particular, in these lower elementary grades, the students aren't even required to get online every day and do the schooling. It's really more of an option. And so this is a really great resource for me and maybe you would like it too. So this is the Math Home Learning Kit. And I'm going to drop a link to this kit in the chat here on, um, oops, sorry, I was gonna grab it. I'll drop it into the chat here in a second for you all. But if you go to this landing page and download the kit, what you'll find is that we have three different downloads here. We have one that is for grades K2. We have one here that is for grades three, five, pardon my scrolling. And we have a third one here that is for grades six, eight. So the K2 one, I'm just gonna kind of briefly roll through this for you guys to see. It has some different problem solving questions for the kids that you can walk through with them. And you can print this off, hand them the packet, and they can kind of walk through this on their own. And this is a really great solution, like I said, for me and my own family. And if you are a parent who's like, look, we are out of paper, we are out of printer ink, there are some other adaptations you could do with a download like this. You could use this download to guide you with the use of manipulatives. For example, here we have these different questions asking the K2 student about the value of each group of coins. If you don't have a printer or ink right now, maybe you have something ordered on Amazon. Um, well, what you could do is go to that piggy bank, empty it out, and grab some coins and still set out different groups for them side by side and say, okay, uh, let's count these out. What is the value of this group of coins? What is the value of this group of coins? And they can just use those types of manipulatives instead. So if you print this off, you'll see there's several pages here. It takes them through problem solving, addition, subtraction in these particular grade ranges. It even asks questions about shapes, 
uh, and things like um, questioning where we're like, hey, let's look at these shapes. What's similar about these two different rectangles? What's different about these two rectangles? So you can just kind of even use this download as a way to have a dialogue with your learners about math. So the other grade levels are also very similar, the ones for three, five. And uh, you'll see that this gets a little bit more difficult in terms of now we're adding in some uh, addition, or I'm sorry, <laughs> multiplication and division there, I think also starts to add in here. So if you go to the link that I'm going to provide you in the comments, you can access this for your little learner to do at home. And if you download it and use it, we would love to see how that learning is going for you guys at home. So be sure to snap a picture of your little learner using the kit, tag it with sadly your school, hashtag sadly your school, and we would love to cheer your little learners on. And let me just check really quickly for the comments here since Let's I'm kind do of doing thing. both things today, presenting and doing the management on the backside. Uh, I just wanna wrap up by reminding you all that tomorrow I will be back here on Sadly Your School Live, live with Dr. Matthew Bayronavon. We're gonna be talking about math. And if you come back here at three o'clock p.m. Eastern time, 12 o'clock Pacific on Sadly Your School's Facebook page. We will be there and we can't wait to hang out with you then. So come back and let us know if there's anything you would like us to cover on these Facebook Lives. We're always looking for more content ideas and ways that we can support all of you right now as we are working from home. It looks like we have a question. If people are using it in Google Classroom, how does your kid do their work or do they print it out? So there are several things. I would say if you're using this in Google Classroom, you're probably going to want to print it out, especially with a download like this. Um, in the older grades, we have a digital hack for them. Vocab Gal and I were on Sadly or School a few weeks ago. And we walked through a way that you can take these downloads and digitally hack them. And I will link to that for you here, Amy, in the comments in a second when I'm off the live and I'll tag you on it. But we did a video which walks you through how you can take these digital downloads and through Google Drive, you can actually convert them into a digital format, format that kids can then type on and write on. And for the younger learners, that's not going to be as easy or intuitive to them because they just don't have those computer skills. But for some of those old grades, like sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, that could be an option for those grades. So I will link to it. And that is a wonderful question. And I also mentioned um, for uh, not necessarily for the educator who's using this in the Google Classroom, but maybe the caregiver who is at home, if they don't have access to a printer, there are some ways that they could use manipulatives instead and kind of use the kit as a guide to have those discussions with the kids. Oh, you are so welcome, Amy. Thank you for your comment. Now, as I mentioned, we will be back tomorrow at three o'clock p.m. Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific, and we hope to see you back. And until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.